I saw a couple videos on this roguelike arcade game, Ballinaire, and it looked really fun. The first run is going to be really easy because you get to choose a starter pack. The water park one's really OP. The bounce house one I'm not so sure about, but then the chef starter pack is really cool. I didn't see any videos really maximizing its potential, so I'm going to try to do that. Essentially the way this game works is you drop a ball, and the ball will hopefully hit some of the things that are placed down. The ball actually did hit the bread, and it comes back to the top for some reason. I guess it's because this upgrade, once per drop, if a ball would exit the screen while carrying something like bread or a tomato, it teleports it back to its spawn point. Ah. Right now we have two carryables, a tomato and bread. And the goal is to get two carryables into a pan. If a ball is carrying two things and it enters the pan, it will create a meal. And then if we make the meal into the hungry mouth, I believe there's some extra bonus you get. If you enter the hungry mouth with any food, you get 1600, which is quite a bit. Right now we only need 500 to progress to the next round. We have five ball drops total to get that 500. And after each ball drop, we get a random bonus. None of these are synergizing with our build, so we're going to re-roll. We do get another food ingredient here. We'll definitely take the bread and we'll put it here. I think it's fine. Bit of a failed drop there, but that's okay. Caterpillar is interesting. If it can survive for five rounds, I believe, it turns into a butterfly ball, which I think flies straight up. If you want to make sure you spawn it, you can put it on the very edge, but I think that's kind of pointless because the ball is just going to go straight up and it's going to hit nothing basically. Ideally, we can put the caterpillar somewhere towards the middle, but there's a pretty good chance it will get bonked. Let's just YOLO it and try. It's kind of a waste, but the other stuff wasn't that good anyways. And that was close. I was actually thinking about putting it there when it gets teleported back to the top. Okay, it survives. Nice. And we get a mushroom, which could actually help save the caterpillar. If we put a mushroom here, we can protect the caterpillar maybe. There's still a chance the thing comes in from the right side though. On a few, that was close. Uh, nothing to protect the caterpillar here. Let's reroll. And broom actually does protect the caterpillar, and so does the pinball bumper. Wait, let's go for this. And we can't put it here. So never mind. Let's actually put the broom here, and that should protect the caterpillar, I think. And we hit the pan. Very nice. And that spawned a couple pizzas. When we bonk the pizza, we carry a slice, and we earn 800. And then if we carry the pizza into the mouth, we get another 1600. So that's some cool synergy. I'm not seeing any synergy upgrades here, so we're going to re-roll. We got some bread, very nice. We'll put the bread up here, so we just got a line of bread. And we got some permanent upgrades here. Invert the gravity, I don't think that's that good. I don't think vacancy signs that good either. When you re-roll, all age or triggers gain one age. So if we re-rolled something, the pizzas would gain a charge. That's pretty good, I would say. Very cool. And already, the caterpillar is safe. Oh man. Oh, that might have hit the caterpillar, but we saved it. We got a tomato. Very nice. We'll put that here. The caterpillar makes it to becoming a butterfly. No synergy here, but a bumper is good. Let's put that back here. That might bounce the ball back. Oh wait, what the heck is going on? We're earning so much money from that. It hit the broom and it bounced, I think, towards our pan. Okay, well, that was pretty cool. We could do a jump rope and we could put it down here. It just bounces it up slightly though. Yeah, let's just reroll. And these are all looking pretty bad. Let's reroll again. That was our final reroll. But we did get a mushroom. We'll put that mushroom over here near where we got some pizza set up. And uh, yeah, wow. That is such a cool setup we got. <laughs> Stone Coffer is cool. There's a 5% chance to discover some treasure, but then it teleports it to a random tile. So I don't think it really matters where you put this. Like, we could even put that here, just to make sure it gets bonked. And then eventually it will teleport itself somewhere. Jeez, we're earning so much money. We definitely satisfy the tribute. And the extra money we get, I don't think matters. So there's no point in earning more than the tribute, I think. We got another caterpillar. I think we could put that like here. And then we could do the same setup where we got the broom and the mushroom. And we could bounce it up towards that pan. Let's do it. And we're on a new level, so we get another permanent perk. Whenever a ball is spawned during the drop, earn 800. I think that's pretty good. Or limited trigger consumes a charge, spawn a ghost ball. Wait, that's really good because all the pizzas are going to spawn more balls. Wait, this is going to start getting crazy. You're going to see ghosts are just going to be... Oh, okay. This is nuts. And just like that, we already earned the tribute. This stuff is good, I think. 
jump rope, I guess, like here. I don't know. I think that was kind of a waste, but we only have one reroll, so it's like, I don't know. Do we really want to be wasting that reroll? We're bonking the crap out of that secret generating thing. We got another caterpillar. I feel like it's a greedy play, but we could pull it off. There's not much action going on this side. I think we could put it here. I actually have a plan for how we're going to make that work. Yeah, stay on this side, guys. Keep the caterpillars alive. I don't see anything too good here. Let's reroll. I think it bugged. Uh, yeah, I think it definitely bugged. You can see there's nothing for us to choose. We just have to skip, I guess. Alrighty. Our caterpillar did mature, so that's pretty cool. We got two butterflies. That one's not going to be doing much yet. Packing tape is pretty good. We can remove something and put it wherever we want, basically. It doesn't really matter where you place that, so let's place it down there. And yeah, we'll just drop. And I kind of forgot that this butterfly could hit the caterpillar, but it missed, thankfully. We got some bread. We'll put that... Where's the question? Maybe near these butterflies. Let's put it there. We get a new upgrade because we're on a new level. Whenever a ball is spawned during the drop, earn 800. That's good. I think we're going to get a ton of cash. I think the butterflies, which, by the way, both these butterflies are now mature. I think every butterfly that spawned gives us 800. Oh, and trash can's really cool. Whenever something's destroyed, like the pizza, it, it increases its earnings. It's actually amazing. I think we want to put that in like a center location. Because that's going to start becoming worth a lot of money. Yeah. And holy cow. You can see for everything spawned, including the ghosts, I think, we're getting 800, which is nuts. We got another food. Let's put that over here. And we got a treasure from the stone coffer. Adjacent triggers earn more per age. So we want to put that somewhere that's earning money, like the trash can maybe that like here i think that's okay we could always remove it later yeah we're doing way too good 71k out of 10k we got a parachute which is good timing because the treasure just moved we can put that parachute here and that ball is going to carry a parachute and when it gets to the very bottom it's going to ride the parachute back up got more food i don't know if a ball can carry multiple bread I guess we'll just put that here though and find out. Uh, I guess the food has a cooldown, so I guess it's fine to stack food near itself. Armored car is interesting. When we bonk it with something like a butterfly, it spawns a coin ball. We can put that like here, because I think that will always get bonked, right? We pass another level, so we get another upgrade. This one's rare. The ball bonks a trigger in the top row, which is the parachute. Both survived. Repeat the bonk. I don't know if that's good. But I don't know about hopscotch. When you skip, you gain a reroll. We haven't skipped much. And then this one sucks, I think. I'll try Eye of Abundance. See how that works. So when it bonks the trigger in the top row, if it survives, like right now, I'm going to repeat it one more time. I'm confused. Hungry Mouth. We'll definitely take that. We'll put it on the bottom. I think that's the strat, right? Yeah, I think that's fine. This run's looking pretty crazy. We have three balls left and we're already past the requirement. Oh, and here we go. Broom. This is what I was waiting for. I want to put the broom near these butterflies. Probably a broom here and a broom here. Let's see how that works. One butterfly rides the broom. Yeah, it just gets bonked everywhere. Hits a trash can. Very nice. It got bonked off of a thing getting bonked, I think. On well, chicken is a rare. And that spawns food, I think, right? An egg ball. We'll put that up here. That's fine. Yeah, we'll just keep going. I still not use the tape. I'm not sure if we ever want to use that. Another chef's pan. We'll definitely take that. I'll put it like uh, here, I think is fine. Is the chef pan good? Because it turns the food into meals. Oh, the meals are pizza. Yeah, we want that. We got cheese, which is another food ingredient. This one's uncommon. We'll put that here. We pass our level so we get another upgrade. When the ball exits the top of the screen, earn 800 and repeat this for each carryable. Whoa, that's insane, right? I'm still not like 100% sure on the mechanics. 
Like, what did that just do? Spawn two pizzas. But this pan can still spawn pizzas. That's fine that they overlap. Egg carton does have synergy with the chicken, but it holds the egg ball. When it's full, adjacent triggers are in eight times. So we could put it here next to this trash can. And if it does get full, then the trash can is going to earn eight times, which is kind of nuts. We could try that out. Nothing else is looking too good. I mean, it's another trash can, so that could be better maybe. It's hard to say, right? 12 egg balls is a lot though. I would say the safer play is just use another trash can because the game is almost over. I'm pretty sure we only have one more level and we still have not spawned any egg balls yet, I think. When you bonk it, you use the charge and spawn an egg ball. And it starts with 12 charges, so we must not have bonked it at all, right? Am I missing something? I think there's no way we're going to fill up the egg carton, so we're going to go for the trash can. I would say put it above where the pizzas are going to go because they're spawning ghosts. They go upwards. So let's put it like up here. I think that's fine. And uh, the butterfly could hit it too. And yeah, I got bonked. Easy. Been pretty good here on cash. We're almost at the requirement. Not seeing anything here that's looking too amazing. Dart trap is interesting, but let's just reroll. I'm not sure how I'd use that. Hungry mouth, sure. Put that down here. I'm not sure where you actually want to put the hungry mouse. Let me know in the comments where you put the hungry mouse, because that's one thing that I'm not sure about. And that was actually good. The parachute thing hits the hungry mouth, feeds it, and then goes back up. This stuff all sucks, I think. Although, I don't know. Let me know in the comments too if I'm like doing something stupid. Bonk, carry a map. Chance on bonking a secret, which is the stone coffer, to automatically succeed. So you could put that here. But the problem with the stone coffer is it moves every time it succeeds. So yeah, I think the map kind of sucks actually. Just reroll. Chef's pan, there we go. Rainbow is good too. We earned two times from it. And another trash can. A lot of good stuff here. Let's just go for the chef pan though. Put that here, I think. Oh, it's getting kind of confusing. And like where the optimal place for stuff is. And battery is interesting. We can charge up stuff like the chicken or we can put charges on the pizzas. Let's put that here, I think. Each drop, it transfers charges to the chicken and the pizza. Okay, that's fine. And we got grilled cheese down here. Wow, we get 3,200 when it's bonked. Well, we're doing pretty good on cash. You can see we destroyed the limit. That trash can's getting us a lot. Plus 4,400 when it gets bonked. Don't see anything here that's too good. Bread, we'll take it. Put that next to the cheese for some more grilled cheese, maybe. Multiply all earning by one times. Whenever an extra trigger draft is gained, increase it by 0.1. Whenever you reroll, all limited charges gain one charge. That's really good. So if we reroll, we gain charges on the grilled cheese, the pizzas, the chickens, and the battery, too. Okay, yeah, that's really good. We got a tomato. I haven't seen a tomato in a while. Just put that in the middle, I think. I'm really not sure anymore, honestly. Like, one butterfly just grabbed a tomato. It's a chicken egg, and then... Yeah, that's uh, looking pretty good. We're getting towards the end, so trash can's not going to be great. But, I mean, Caterpillar is not going to be great either. Let's just go for the trash can. It's actually getting juiced up here. Oh, yeah. It's up to 1,400 by the very end. Very nice. We got another broom. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Put that there for our other butterfly. We got a stone coffer draft. Bonk by a water ball. Eh, let's just skip that, I think. Or we could put it down, like, over here and then remove it. I don't know. We got both our butterflies should be riding brooms. Or I guess one missed it. An egg carton is interesting. We could just try that out, even though I think the run's pretty much over. Next to the trash can. We could put that here next to two trash cans. Although it's never going to get filled by the chicken. We gotta put that here. We gotta put the pizza back down. Put it down there. Let's go. Alright, cash is looking way too good. We win this easy. We beat the tribute. Now we gotta earn 300k. We almost earned 300k on that last run. Then here, it's looking too good. Reroll. Hungry Mouth. Sure. Let's remove this chalice. Because I don't think that's going to do anything. I'll put the mouth over there. Skip the chalice. Fishing Trophy. When the ball exits the top of the screen, spawn a fish ball. 
Whoa. Okay, we're gonna get a bunch of fish balls, I think. Or maybe it can't be carrying something? Oh no. There we go. Yeah, the fish balls is coming at the very end. Okay, that's an awesome upgrade. And we're one third of the way there. What the heck, they're still dropping? We're like half the way there. Okay, what's going on here? That was crazy. Axe is good. Although I think when the ball is chopped in half, it removes everything that the ball is carrying. So it's actually not that good. We're gonna reroll. And cheese is good. We can get more grilled cheese. Probably like down here, I think. Which is not the greatest spot, but we have nowhere to really put it. Honestly, I don't think it matters too much anymore. Like we just win, right? This is such a cool synergy we got. The fishies and everything. We got another broom. I don't know where I'd put that though. So let's reroll. I think here it's looking too good. Reroll again. House plant. I think has synergy with the egg. Oh, and our chicken actually got destroyed. So never mind on that. Just reroll. Our trash can. Sure. I mean, the game is over, dude. Honestly. I think we win. I think this is the last level. What's cool is I'm noticing on the top left side, you can see when things are procking. Like you can see the astronaut helmet when that's going up. Nothing here that's looking too good. Just use our last reroll. Got another parachute. Sure, we'll put the parachute here. Like, I don't know. I think this is the last drop, and we already won, right? Maybe it wasn't the last drop. Uh, let's just put the anchor. No, we can't put the anchor down. Put the tree down here, sure. This might be the last drop. Well, it's not over. We gotta earn 500k now. Let's reroll this. We got our chicken, very nice. Let's remove the trash can and put the chicken where that trash can was. I'll put the trash can like here, sure. When you remove a trigger, gain a draft of a different one. The matching trait or rarity, sure. Gold mine's rare. Earn 400 and spawn something based on chains. I don't know how that works. I know stormy weather's good. Let's just put that. It doesn't really matter. Like down here, I guess. If anything hits that, then we'll spawn a bunch of water balls from the top. There we go. But it does have a long cooldown. Tomato. Put that over here. Yeah, the stormy weather is now clear skies for, I think, four more turns. So I don't think we'll be using it again. Not that it matters, though. I think the game's just over. Screw it. We'll just put a broom here. I don't care anymore. Parachute, sure. I'm gonna put it towards the bottom, like, I don't know. The fish that spawned can hit the parachutes and they'll go back up to the top. I don't know anymore, dude. I don't know what's going on. We earned enough to satisfy the final tribute, so the game's over. So that is the Balionaire demo, which is kind of crazy that this is just a demo, this is all free content. One can only imagine what type of content there will be when the game is released. If you like this and you want to see more Balionaire, maybe when the game's released, or maybe I'll even do another demo video, drop a like and let me know in the comments if you have any feedback on like my editing or something.